you know, something like that. This is this is where you know the Islamic communities are supposed to come together mm. and find a suitable place for this person. You know, the the problem is now there's a lack of respect for his, for the Islamic sciences. There's a lack of respect for the person that has studied these Islamic sciences, and that's a reality. When you look at the Muslim communities, they look down on Islamic sciences. They look down on a person that has studied Islamic sciences, in the sense that. Um, you know, a kid is doing his GCSEs. Mm. A parent is willing to pay over the odds to bring a tutor and help this kid achieve an A star. Mm. But you know, you'll find it. Massage where they have uh, twenty pound a month, bring your kid, memorize the Quran two hours a week, three hours a week. Mm. That twenty pound, you will see this parent they they going on a mad one over this twenty pound. Mm. It's like this is this is to save your kids akhirah but you're willing to pay that ma- that amount of money an hour for someone to come and help tutor your kid for the GCSEs, mm. something dunya we, that doesn't may or may not benefit their akhirah, but Quran yaqeenan will benefit their akhirah. Well, I mean, what can we do though? As in, in terms of look, like, like, like for example, you're here, you're always concerned with what's happening back in the UK. Generally, what should be the next step? This is this is where the, the, the Islamic community centers come into play. The problem today, there are many community centers, mm-hmm. Islamic community centers, masajid that go that go by these names, and they're not doing enough. What do you mean by not enough? They're not accommodating for students of knowledge. They're not giving them platforms. They're not. Uh, they they give them peanuts to survive on, and have all of these huge expectations. Do you mean them. imams specifically? Imams, general general positions, teaching positions, mm. imam positions. All these different positions where, you know, you're supposed to bring this imam so that he could be more involved in the community, tackling all the different problems that we have in our communities right now, from knife crime to drugs to all these different things. But, you know, if if you're telling the guy we'll give you X Y Z salary, you have to lead five salawat in the masjid, you have to teach the kids, and you have, and that's it. They pay you peanuts to do something like this and this is your only job role mm. they don't accommodate for 